Uh, as you most probably know that Palestinian women live under occupation, under Israeli military occupation. So uh, a major uh, uh, violation is, uh, is the Israeli policies and uh, uh, practices against the Palestinians uh, in the occupied Palestinian territory, which affect all uh, sectors of the Palestinian society, including women. Women in the Palestinian society are subject to being arrested, uh, detained, subjected to torture, ill treatment by the Israelis. They have to bear all the sufferings of arbitrary arrests of their beloved ones and uh, take up the responsibilities within the household. But internally within the Palestinian society, there are also a set of violations that to which women are uh, being subjected. On top of that is gender-based violence. Uh, what we call like, uh, killing women under uh, the pretext of, uh, of uh, family honor, which I call it femicide, is uh, happening. This year we have seen, witnessed an increase in the number of women that have been killed uh, under the pretext of uh, uh, family honor. Uh, we, we, it's still in our society, uh, the culture uh, really dominates, uh, which, which sees that a boy is better than a girl. Uh, although Palestinian women have made a lot by way, have been uh, participating in public life, has been active on the, uh, in, in, in political life, in resisting the occupation and so on. But despite that, we find that women still suffer from discrimination on the basis of being a girl or a woman in our society. Actually, uh, the Commission uh, uh, lately has given more attention to, uh, to being more gender sensitive in all its programs and activities. We uh, prefer to mainstream women's human rights into the work of the Commission. Uh, we are cooperating uh, during the past three years with, the, with UN Women uh, to, to have a women's observatory. Uh, uh, to monitor uh, women in conflict, uh, situations of women in conflict with the law or in uh, cases of violence, gender-based violence against women. And we're trying to uh, monitor uh, court sessions where they address the cases of uh, allegedly cases of women being subjected to, uh, to violence and cases in conflict with the law to see how much women are, uh, are, are having access to justice within the Palestinian system. And this has been further enhanced uh, with our work uh, uh, this year, where we are really developing uh, a systematic uh, monitoring of court sessions and systematic visits to prisons and detention centers. The Commission, in order not to overlap with other NGOs that are working on women's human rights, and we have many that are more specialized in, in, in gender and women's rights issues, what we do is really see the responsibility, the, the accountability component, and the responsibility of the official institution in addressing women's rights. In this way, as a national institution, I think we can play a very important mediating role between NGOs uh, working on that and human rights organizations and, and, and the official institutions.